Hey, Oscar, how are you? I'm serving. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good, good. What did you do this weekend? Oh, the weekend, um, I, I had a dinner with some friends, and, and we visited the, the, the Quatepecas Lake, but in a place there is no nobody, just uh, my friends and, and, and I. And um, yesterday I was racing all the day. And you? Um, not much. I rested most of the day on Sunday, but I went out to the uh, to the theater downtown of San Salvador. Hey, yeah. mm -hmm. that's great. What did you, what did you see? The, they had a show about um, Panchimalco, Panchimalco oh. and flowers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it was pretty nice. It was interesting. Yeah, the, the, all the all the guys in the theater. <clears throat> and they're really talented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was pretty fun to go see them and, you know, just do something different instead of being in the house all the time with the family. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But with the mask and... Oh, yeah. Right? With mask, alcohol, gel, and uh, separation between my family and the next group. That's great. Mm -hmm. Great to listen to that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Good. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, how was your how weekend? You? Good, good. How was your weekend, Elizabeth? It was uh, it was good. It was good. Working on the platform. <laughs> hey, hey, great. Trying to, trying to get, uh, you know, update the platform. Did you advance and a I lot? Did it. <laughs> so what? Did you advance a lot? Yes. Yes, I finished the um, the midterm test and all the that I have. <laughs> you know, um, uh, delay. How do you say? Um, atrasado. Yeah, that's fine. A delay or delay. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you were delayed, mm -hmm. but now you're up to date. Now you're up to date. Yes, sir. But still, you know, um, I I I got uh, I got help in in some exercise, but still have some doubts. Really, which ones, Elizabeth? Um, let me check. Um, I think it was. Uh, the one the, that you had to use uh, have or get and um, I, I get copy, I get a copy of of the answers but uh, I don't know why in all the answer um, uh, the the person who helped me because I don't know who <laughs> who was um, <laughs> anonymous um, <laughs> Yeah, anonymous. Cause I, I mean, he um, uh, he texts me directly, so I don't know who was it. Um, cause I asked for help in the in the group, and um, and I got help. And but all the answers are with using have, and they are correct, but. I mean, what is the idea then? Because in which in, in, in which exercise do you remember which one it was? What? Yeah, just let me check this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Dani. Yeah. How are you? Hello. Uh, fine, thank you. A little tired. Uh, working from home always is tired. Yeah. <laughs> and how was your weekend, Dani? It was great. Yesterday we went to the to the lake. Uh, to Which lake? Uh, Ilopango. Was oh, any so close? <laughs> <laughs> Jose went to the lake yesterday also. Really? Not In what lake? Uh, Quatepecas Lake. Ah, okay. No. Yeah. 
I, I was here in San Salvador. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. also uh, for the fact that uh, Ilopango Street is it's good too. Yeah, yes. The problem was that the place that we visited uh, oh. is like a club, but exactly. the part of the lake uh, it was very dirty, so we couldn't we couldn't uh, shower in the in the lake. So we only stay in the pool, but uh, the view and, and the, the weather was great. So at least that helped you to, to forget oh, okay. the situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, a, relax, a relax time. Okay. All right, good, good. Elizabeth, did you find the exercise? Yes, the chair is 4.2. 4.2, okay. Let's take a look. This is the, the one that you mentioned between have and, and got, right? Exactly. So the instruction says, write question using the active form of have and get using the information above each space. So, um, I try with, we you know, using both have and get, but um, as I said, I, I get, I got copy with the, uh, with of, of the answers and all the answers that I got is um, using have and they are okay, but I don't know if, I mean, what was the idea of this exercise? Because it didn't uh, allow me to use get, uh, only, only no, no. have. No, no, no. It's, oh. it's it's all of them the same. So, okay. So if you're, I got your, I got your question. Okay. So <clears throat> if you use have, all of them are going to be correct. If you wow. use get, all of them are going to be correct. The only is going to be different. So if you use, if you change your answer from have to uh, get. It's normally uh, get to or get someone to or something like something with a two. All of the answers are correct. Um, let me see. Let's take a look at number one. Okay. So number one says, so my skirt, right? Exactly. Okay. So you put, do you know where I can have someone sew my skirt? Where I can get. I try with, we have uh, a first time with get. Yeah, it's correct. And, uh, no, I haven't correct. I have, How did you and, say uh, it with get? How did you write it with get? I can get uh, someone. Um, let's see, someone uh, sew my skirt. That's that's what I mean. Okay, so when you use get, you need to use the word to, t o. In the chat right now, here in the Zoom chat, you can see how it's written correctly. So you can use the word have, or you can change have for get to. So as an so the one, um, let, me, let me see. So the one that you wrote, and, and all of them are the same. All of them, you can do the same thing mm -hmm. because there are two ways to write it. So do you know where I can have someone sew my skirt? But if you use get, you need to use get to. Do you know where I can get someone to? So my oh, skirt. Okay. So the um, um, basically the rule is that with get is uh, with infinite infin infinity. Correct. So with, what you want to use with get is an infinitive, and you want to use a person before the infinitive. So you want to get Jaime to help you with the homework, or you want to have Jaime help you with the homework. Okay. You want to get. You want to get Michelle to cut your hair, or you want to have Michelle cut your hair? Yeah, I change it, and it's right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, so it's not that it's incorrect. Maybe it's just, I forgot. You, mm -hmm. I, I think you probably forgot the word too, because it's very common that mm -hmm. the, the people forget this word, the two. Mm -hmm. But you can use have, uh, but 
without using someone, or you have to always use someone? Yeah, that's another question too. <laughs> um, because no, you, you... in the number three, I have like <clears throat> this one, example. Uh, this one. Do you, Do you know, know where I, I can have? Someone saw my skirt. No. no that's number sorry. one. Mm -hmm. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Number three. Let me check. Uh, I don't know what is not copy. Not copy. Okay. Do you know where I can have my watch repaired? Ah, uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So do you have to use always have someone? No, you don't. But in the exercise, yes, you do. Why? Because it's How can I know? No, you don't know. It's it's the exercise. The exercise is always with someone because that's the way that it was shown. But when you speak, it doesn't have to be someone. You can have and then always you can have the action. But in my in my in my in my example, my sentence is correct too. Correct. Do you know where I, do you know where I can have my watch repaired? That is correct, exactly. That's why I said that your is only for the exercise. This exercise, all of them, all of the exercises, you need to include someone. So all, every number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, every single one of those exercises, it has to use the word someone. But it doesn't say in the instruction teacher. No, 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 it and doesn't. I got confused because I yeah. try with different ways. For example, cut my hair. I try with uh, get that, get my hair, um, hair cut. Get my hair uh, cut. Exactly, exactly. For example, and that's a, bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of those are correct. All of all of those forms. If you have have and then the verb, it's correct. Okay, so you can uh, say. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in the number four, for example, I have, do you know where I can have someone fix my scooter? Correct. That is but correct. It's not correct in the platform. I'm sure the platform has a mistake. Try two. After, mm -hmm. I'm sure the, the platform has a mistake then because that's the only way. You can't have another way. There is no infinitive with have. There is no infinitive. It doesn't exist. But try with the infinitive. Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, because there, it's it's impossible to. You can't have infinitives with with in this in in this grammar structure. With have, there is no infinitive. I'm sorry, did you say again? When you use have for for get things done, you cannot you cannot use infinitive. There is no have to. Always it's have and the verb without the to. Uh, Mr. Edwin, and with the uh, oh. sentence number seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's take a look. Sentence number seven. Um, clean my, my leather jacket. jacket. Leather yeah, jacket. exactly. It's the same, the same that we just said. Only put someone. Do you know? All the, all the sentence is have someone no, in the can verb. Have someone clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this case, I can have, I can just uh, get. Get. To. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can use get. So, but it, when I use that, how did you put it? How did you put it? I put it. It should be like it's in the chat. Check. It should be like that. Do you know if you you have the, in the chat you have the two options? I put the two options for you. Do you know where I can have someone repair? Oh, sorry. Wait. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my jacket? Okay. Okay. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my jacket? And do you know where I can have someone clean my Jacket. Mm -hmm. My new jacket. Mm -hmm. But it's ground. 
Which one is wrong? Number seven. And, and the, the, but I, I, I just get, not... Okay, uh, and, and you put like in the chat, do you know where I can get? Exactly like, like in, the, in, the, in the chat. Really? Uh, yeah. Copy and paste it from the chat. Oh, yes. no, no, no. And in the number seven, we just to just how not get because we when I use get to um, uh, when I check it, uh, I, I have it grown, but now I change get to for half and I, I got it right. Uh huh, but it should also I uh, saw so you forgot the, there, the but, two, yeah, the two, the two for. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, because if you use get, you get would be correct, but you just have to use the word too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you so? <laughs> this this uh is very typical all the exercise for this unit. Yeah. All the course. I'm I'm sorry, can can you say again? Ah, that I feel like um uh, I felt like, like uh, all the exercise for, for this um, uh, model mm -hmm. uh, were very uh, difficult. Or more the difficult day. than the, the, the last one, mm -hmm. or the last before this. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, that's because the idea. Because right? the, 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 all, the, all the exercise only is right, and it's more difficult the writing because I don't know the... the <laughs> The order for the sentence, and in some case, is very difficult to understand. Yeah. I, at least I feel I was I was a little frustrated uh, this afternoon because I couldn't do some exercise. No, and, and and as I mentioned, you you are correct. You are correct because uh, here in this platform all of them require the word someone. But in reality, when you speak, you do not have to use someone for all of them. Because you can just use the, the action. Do you know where I can have my car repaired? Or do you know where I can have my watch? Mm -hmm. Where can I have my, my hair done? Exactly. Right? Exactly. But here, yeah, it, that's, mm -hmm. I, I think that was the confused uh, part because uh, the instruction doesn't say to use that someone. We have to use someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's what it was because I mean, as soon as you, if you know you need to use someone, then all of the answers are, ah, oh, okay, well, now I know I have to include that as, as part of the structure. Exactly. But it's only for this exercise. It's not that all of them, I mean, sorry. It's not that in reality, you can only use it with someone. Okay. okay. So thank you very much for asking because as you can see, you're not the only one. Many times other people have the same questions and the same and is the same frustration. You say, no, I, I maybe, and you think, oh, I didn't understand or, oh, I'm not doing it correct and no, it's not that. It's something technical. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Before we get into today, any other questions, any other exercises or parts uh, or lessons that aren't clear? Before the, the, the lesson five. Section five. Right, right, right. Because today we're going to begin section five. So if you have any other questions or lessons or anything, let me know. What, what else do you have for lesson five or be, <laughs> before lesson five? Go I, ahead, Jose. I really have a, a, a question about, because, because I, I, I tried it, but... Tell us. It's something technical. I'll help you. Don't worry. What, what, um, what is just it? Just let me, just give me a second because uh, I Look for it. it. Look for it. And Rocio is going to tell me what she did this weekend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Rocio. Hello, everyone. Hi. You see? Hi, Rocio. Hello. Tell us, tell us, Rocio. We are waiting. What happened this weekend? What did you do? 
<laughs> were like I enjoyed my my weekend because I went with my best friend and my mom to the the mall and I bought a lot of uh, <laughs> clothes. <laughs> a lot of clothes. Yes. Hey, hey. Lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> and yeah. the clothes. I, I also mm -hmm. bought, I, I bought um, a book. So I have a new book. <laughs> I have a new homework. <laughs> hey, what's the what's the book? What's the name of the book, Rocio? Its name is um, Little B. Little B. Mm -hmm. The author is Chris Clive, Cl Clive, something like that. This little B is in Spanish or, or in English? In English. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I hope to learn. And did you start reading it? Mm, just twice off. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's about a uh, woman that live, left in, lived in UK maybe 100 years ago. So she lived in the, in that, uh, um, that time in which people, black people were slaves. So it's a kind of interesting. It does. It does sound kind of interesting. Yes, and that's all, teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. I think Jose had the opportunity to to find the activity that he was looking for. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I I really feel embarrassed to ask that. Oh, no, don't feel I embarrassed. Have with the section one, but use the exercise number three. Okay, unit one, let me go to it. Exercise three, is that right? Exactly. We got to, to listen the exercise, but when I listen the exercise and I write the, the, the item, everything is wrong. I don't know why. Hang on, hang on, I'll get to it, no problem. Something is missing. Unit one point one point three. right, the listening. Jose, it's the listening one, right? Exactly. Okay, all right. Okay, give me a sec. All right. And all of them are wrong, you say? About the diagrams, uh, I have, when I, because I think we, I got to, to, to write just a, a word in the item. But when I ask, yes. I write the, 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 the word, every, every word, I um, I had a mistake. Okay, hang on. Maybe I'm in the look wrong at, section. What's sorry? Number, look at, look at the one. answer. Look at the chat, um, 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 Jose. Maybe okay. the spell. It may be the spell of the word. Oh, brief. Brief case. The, 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 the item number one. And you write it in in capital letter. Let me check, let me check. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter, you can use a, you don't have yeah. to use oh, it, Yeah, that, that, that's it. And oh. the other item, do you have it? No, I, 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 I don't. Need, um, even two? the, the two, oh, okay. <laughs> But I think that, well, but, but you're right. Did that fix it for you? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I, I really have really, really grown with what, what I think was the answer. Uh oh. The answer. But that's, that's the, 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 that was my question. And thank you, Vani for the um, show me the answers. Okay. 
Okay. Are you, Jose, is that the only question you have? Don't be shy. Yeah. You sure? No, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you a lot. Okay. No follow. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Anybody else have any other questions? All right. Okay. Well, then, in that case, let's get started in our final unit, which is section five. Section five is actually interesting because it has to do with past tense, something that we're fairly common, excuse me, fairly common, and we do quite often. We usually speak about things in the past. Now, the only difference is, you know, what tense should be, we use? Which one is always the appropriate? Most people get used to using the simple past. I went, I saw, I had. This is the common um, safety. Let's say this is the safe way to speak, right? Everybody uses this because you're not sure when it's appropriate to use the others or when it's not. So we're going to start off. We're going to look at the introduction videos and we're going to start off a little bit about which past tense they're referring to and we'll go little by little the differences, okay? Okay. To finish this course, we want you to sit, relax, and watch the last video with us. Feel free to take notes as you watch it. Finally from us, the virtual office. For better or worse, technology and globalization are creating startling changes in what it means to be on the job. Betsy Stark is tracking the new order of business, and tonight begins our series, The Future of Work. Imagine a work world with no commute, no corporate headquarters, maybe no office in the physical world at all. For Bob Flavin, Janet Hoffman, and Joseph Jaffe, the future is already here. These days we do so much stuff by teleconferences and things um, that it doesn't matter where you are. Like 42% of IBM's 350,000 employees, Bob Flavin rarely comes into an IBM office. We don't care where and how you get your work done, we care that you get your work done. On the day we met him, he was collaborating with computer scientists in British Columbia and Beijing from the on-call room of his local ambulance corps, where he works as a volunteer. You are in 6031. The workforce at the Accenture Management Consulting Firm is so mobile, not even the CEO has an office with his name on the door. There's no corporate headquarters. No. If you need a workspace, you reserve it like a hotel room, checking in and out at a kiosk. Having a big desk is a sign of status with lots of family photos and, uh, you know, and, and carpeting that's fluffy and nice. Is, uh, that is, is a vision of the past. Come on into the theater. In the future, more companies with scattered workforces and clients may do what the crayon marketing firm has done and make their headquarters in cyberspace. Here's our little rooftop. We had our holiday party here. Crayon's workers rarely meet in the physical world. I am uh, in Boston today. And I am on Long Island today. But their alter egos in the virtual world gather once a week. We're here in, uh, in our boardroom, and uh, you're here actually at the tail end of a status meeting. I never met Crayon's CEO in person. There you are. But we spent a couple of hours together in cyberspace. Our belief is that if we bring like minds together, no matter where they are in the world, we can actually create that connectedness as if we're actually here at the same place at the same time. If what matters is what you do, not where you are, who needs an office? Betsy Stark, ABC News, Crayonville in cyberspace. And tomorrow, imagine having summers off every summer. That is World News for this Monday. I'm Kate Snow. For Charles Gibson and all of us at ABC News, have a good evening. Good night. Okay. So quite a bit of information coming from that. Okay. How did you, was that okay? Do you need to watch it again? Um, did you pick up the, the main ideas of the news? Yes, it. Okay. Let's take a look at it. What What's the main idea? What's the, what's the idea of the news? What are they talking about? About virtual uh, office is the future. <laughs> and it is now, right? That's, they didn't know when they made the video that there was going to be a <laughs> pandemic. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Another I mean, no, it's not like not like that exactly, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Okay. And what do you but, guys think? Uh huh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Liz. No, I mean, I mean, it's great, but um, I mean, it, I, in my opinion, doesn't work for all kind of of job. Okay. Right? Yeah. I I think you're right. I think everything is is you can't have everything virtual because it, it society cultures uh, you know different things. There's some things that just need that human touch. And it's not the same to do business virtually that the person can disappear, then you know where the office is, you know where the person is located, things like that. So. Yeah, and, and um, I mean, in my case, I need, I, I need to see the papers, I need to have my the papers, you know, mm -hmm. in my hand in, in order to, to work. So I mean, okay, all right. Yeah. Well, that's the idea. So here we're going to be taking a look at, at this part. Okay, um, we're going to look about, and now we're going to be looking at world history. Okay, and how they make references to times in the past. So there's different types of things in the past. Do you guys like history? Do you know anything? Are there any moments in history that you say, oh, I, I, I'm really interested in that, or I really enjoy that part of history? No, I, I'm bad in the history. Okay. And do you like the topic? Do you like when, you know, like on National Geographic or on TV, yeah. when they have the history channel, do you like to see, oh, that's, yeah. you know, history? Yes. That yes, I like to see, but I can I can remember. Yes, the, <laughs> um, I I um, I can memorize the 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 date or years that the things happens. You know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Anybody else? Anybody else uh, like history, or they they know any any parts that are fascinating for you? Mm -mm. I think everything uh, that says in, in the in the video it's happens it's happening today because the the, the kind of home office and and the technology it's really advanced and everything it's changed in this year right. Mm -hmm. And I think the next year, um, uh, everything will be changed, uh, and, and, and I think we don't stop <laughs> about uh, everything is new. Okay. And who else? Somebody else was going to say something. I like the story, the future teacher, um, because um, uh, I like the the technology advance or or inventory. Okay, so you like the history about uh, the inventions? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, all right. Well, let's watch this video about, it says, I'm good at history and find out what they're talking about. Join us in the last section of this course. We want you to answer the following questions. Number one, do you know when World War I began? How long has the United Nations been in existence? How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? 
Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want All right. He didn't get any of the answers correct. <laughs> yeah. He sounded very, very secure. He sounded like, I know the answer, but none of them were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as we can see here, we're referring to many things about in the past in the case of history, right? So we use the questions with did, for example, when did World War One begin? That's the common questions. We use questions with simple past. The same for the answers, right? With the answers, we put the verb just in the past tense. It began, okay? But then we also have other questions. And we notice the next question is not using did. It's saying how long has the United Nations been in existence? Now, this is a question that starts in the past, but it continues to now because the idea of that question is that the United Nations continues to be in existence. This is called the present perfect. The reason it's called the present is because it has reference or has information that is important for now, for the present. But it's called the perfect because all of the perfect, remember what we said before, the perfect means before now. So present perfect means before the present. All of these actions happen before the present. Okay, that's the second question. The same way. He answers, he doesn't use a verb, well, he does use the verb became, but he uses a time, which is also since, or from, or another word that could be used as well, okay? And then in the last, well, in the third question, we don't use did again, we use another form. And this is the verb to be. How long were the Beatles together? Now, what is the difference between did and when you use a, or the verb do, which is did, or when you use be, which is was or were. Did is used for actions in the past. Was or were are used for descriptions, nouns, not actions. So remember, were is for like professions, uh, descriptions, or a location of someone. So as an example, I was at the beach yesterday. We were in Multiplaza. This is a location. I was a teacher. This is a profession. That's when we use was or were. And did is what I did. Ah, uh, what did you do? Or I didn't teach English class. Okay, that's when we use for actions. So as you can see, we have several different forms of asking the questions. Is that okay? The three types that I mentioned, simple past, present perfect. And of course, here is the simple past as well, but using the verb to be. Any questions for any of those past tenses? No, did you? Mm, no? No, teacher. No. Okay. Perfect. Then now let's listen to what are the correct answers to those questions. So listen and then tell me what are the correct answers to those questions. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. We want you to stay and listen to the rest of the conversation and find out the correct answers for the questions we asked at the beginning. So, what are the correct answers then? Well, World War I began in 1914 and ended in 1918. Oh, that's right. And the United Nations was formally established in 1945, following the end of World War II. And the Beatles? Well, they started back in 1960 and they broke up in 1970. So they were together for 10 years, not 15. Did I say I was good at history? Uh, I meant geography. Okay, so teacher, yes. Can you see the uh, the in the uh, discussion? Uh, I post 
So I'm, I'm sorry. Can you uh, can you check if they're okay? Okay. Mm, not exactly, but they're pretty close. <laughs> they're pretty close. The your your information is correct. the The way that you wrote it, you have a few letters that are incorrect. Okay. Yeah, maybe in in end it. Hang on. Yeah, I'm gonna. He said. Okay. Says, right. So, one is ended. The mm -hmm. um, the Beatles. Uh, you put. I I know what you meant, but you put the Beatles started with D, and it's with T. Started. Okay. In oh, 1960s. Okay. okay. What's the spell? Uh huh. Yeah. So, like I said, it's 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 letters. It's not that it's incorrect. It's just mm -hmm. I think probably when you were typing, you you mm -hmm. <laughs> you skipped the letter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I see the, okay. the mistake. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Which is actually in the chat I put because you know Elizabeth already answered the information from the video, which is okay. <laughs> the World War One began in 1914. And the UN was established in 1945 after World War II. And the Beatles were together for 10 years, from 1960 to 1970, which Elizabeth already wrote in. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank you. All right. Okay. So what do you guys know? Do you, uh, so the idea is it's just about referencing times in the past, events, actions. Things are relevant. Okay. So we can use all different times. Now, we also use uh, different words to reference time, not just the past, okay? We don't just use ED. We use words like uh, since, from, uh, for, during, okay? In the next video that we're gonna watch, that's going to be the idea. So in our next video, which is just the same thing about the past. Now we're referring to the time in the past. So as an example, I went to the movies. This doesn't tell you when it happened, okay? Or I, I have studied English, okay? You know the action, but not how long. That's what we're talking about. So let's watch the video about referring to time and then I'll be able to explain a little bit more. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present, using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. A period of time in the past using from two and four. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years.
After the explanation, we want you to type examples using ago, since, and for. Okay, so let's go back and... Rock and roll. There we go. Uh, sorry, Elizabeth? Yeah, I post um, an answer too, so can you check? Sure thing. Let's take a look at the answer. Okay. I graduated six years ago. I've been studying English since 2000. Um, I was on diet for two weeks. Okay. Only the word, only this last sentence is you are missing the letter A. I was on a, a diet. diet. Yep. And that's it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at this, the idea of referencing. Okay. Referencing times in the past. First, are there any of these words that are not clear? Like the words during or in or ago or from or to? Take a look. Make sure that it's clear. And if you're not sure if you would like some more examples or if you would like to practice and give me an example, we can do both. For example, teacher, I've been uh, working on this and in, in this uh, next uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, rock music has been popular for more than 60 years, I think is the answer for. Yes, that's correct. That, rock music has been wrong. popular for more than 60 years. That's fine. Nope. For I don't know why it, it's wrong. Which one? In this knowledge check, 5.4. Yep. All right, let's take a look. Oh, from here. I have, okay, let's. Yes. Let's I have see. the number one and the number four uh, row. Okay, number one. Rock music has been popular for more than 60 years. The Beatles and for more than 50 years, right? Uh, the Beatles were a well known Sorry. English band. Uh, since the 1960s, they performed together. During, during the 1960s. They were in Japan during the 1960s. They performed together for 10, for for 10 19 years, 1960s, 1960 to 1970. The word two? Elizabeth, did you try T-O? 1960 yeah, to 1970? Yeah, since since 1960 to 1970, why? Right? But no. since, no? No, no. For, well, it doesn't make, uh, for uh, they were performed together uh, for 10 years, uh, since 1960, from, from 1960, can also be from, from 1960 to 1970. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From and two are going together. <laughs> Let's try. Try it? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. from. From and two. No okay. things. And which one just, was the, it? just the first one. I the mean, first the number one. one okay. is four. Rock I don't know why. It's popular four? For the first one is in because it's a point time. No, in the but. Past. Pretty good, Patricia. But in is for a specific, for a spe for example, in 1940s or in uh, 2000. For so a point of time is in. You are correct. But here it says a a, a span of time, more than 50 years. Do you have it right? Okay. What is it? Let me see. And you tried since, right? Or sorry, a rock and music department four, and it didn't come out correctly. No. Okay. No, no, four, no, four, no, no. Okay, hang but on. what do you think? I mean, let me try with capital letter. No, not teacher. No, no. 
I mean, even and for me, four, four is the right answer. Do you check the, the platform? Because um, I write um, in is correct. You try it in? You see it? Yes. In? Thank you, Patricia. Okay, in, but in is not correct. Uh -huh. It's correct, in, in is correct in the platform, but in is not the correct for a span of time. In is only correct for years or decades. Yes. So like, uh, you know, uh, I was born in 1979. I was born in the mm -hmm. 1970s. It's a specific, a specific point in time. Correct, correct. But when it's an amount of time, like a quantity, like a, like a, mm -hmm. a, a number, then it's not possible in, because mm -hmm. in is, is like the clock, right? Or, or it's like the day. It's only for that specific, okay? Like I study in the morning or in, but uh, for, for those, it's, it's a span of time. So here it has to be for the word for. Hmm. Okay. Take note, teacher, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Always, always. I and you know, yeah. um, it, I, I, I understand you, Elizabeth, because you know it's it's amazing, but we have found several little, little I don't know. I think I think what they they they're missing was the the quality control of just having someone do all of the exercises. Mm. Because one thing is they have the the questions and the things and the other is that when the person who types it or who writes it maybe is not the same person who who created it because maybe that's the technician right the technician that uh that that, that inputs the data is not necessarily the same person that created the data yeah i mean so but thank you and now I'll, I'll 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 mention it as well so all right well, besides the one that Elizabeth mentioned and, and her specific questions for those, uh, for th every, everybody else, is that the reference for time okay? Are there questions for it? Like when to use since or for or something like that? No. No? Okay, so that means we just need the idea is mainly it's just practice, right? So it's, it's just about using it and referring to the different times and talking about when you did something or when something happened, things like that. All right, so let's yeah. take let's take a few moments. Tell me about something, okay? Uh, tell me how long you 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 have been studying English. Tell me when you learned to swim. Um, tell me if you rode a bicycle. Tell me different things. Did you? How long did it take you to learn to drive a car, or you know whatever, or use a computer? Okay, when was the first time you used a computer? You remember what happened? Or the first time you got your cell phone? How long did you have your, your first cell phone for? I don't know if you were like me. The first cell phone, they were so expensive. Huh? I took care of that like a baby, like a baby. Like, I, this, it, it, I needed to make sure it didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's okay because Tigo provides insurance. So... <laughs> I don't, I break it. I don't care. I go to Tigo and give me a new one. But. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> always, always, always. Yeah, I don't have Tigo, but eh, it's okay. They give me a new one. No problem. <laughs> All right. So any questions anybody would like to share? Mention anything? Uh, maybe when the uh, message in the internet, like uh, Messenger, for example, mm. I don't know, 10 years or 50 years ago, I, I remember that I was very excited because you started, started, started to talk with uh, people from another place. So I think that it, it was very uh, excited 
And now we have more uh, options, right? You can use your camera and you can uh, share as we do every night. So I think that uh, from all these years, the things change uh, with the technology and the internet. Okay, all right. Yeah, you're right. I remember my first, my, I was excited the first time I tried instant messaging. I remember it was with my, with a Blackberry. Claro had free Blackberries. I don't know if you remember that promotion. Claro was giving free Blackberries with the, with, with a, with a $25 plan. And I thought, oh, $25 for free Blackberry. I was so amazed and excited. Hmm. And then I hated the Blackberry. I hated that phone because at first it was exciting. And then suddenly the people write messages all the time. One o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Hey, they don't care. They write the message whenever. And I put, I, I look for how do I put this on vibrator? How do I turn this off? <laughs> <laughs> But to have a uh, BlackBerry at that time, it was, yeah. you know? It was, yeah, because it had the, it, it was the BlackBerry that you had the buttons with the letters individual and yeah. it was, it, in that time, didn't exist the iPhone yet. Yeah. The iPhone didn't exist. And it, it was a, a, a private messaging because it was only for BlackBerry to BlackBerry. It, yeah. You couldn't mm -hmm. go, mm-hmm, but. Do you remember the phones before BlackBerry? When you tap, 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 the letter by letter. Three times to get the letter C or four times to get the N. <laughs> the Nokia. The Nokia. Yeah. Was, was, um, was uh, I, I don't even remember. Siemens. That mm. was the name. <laughs> and Motorola's. Motorola. Ah, yeah, Motorola's were popular. Motorola's. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Okay. Well, okay. I, I enjoy the the battery. Battery. <laughs> I, I enjoy that the send message. message. <laughs> like tap, 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 tap. But I remember I, I, I really feel bad about my hands because I have uh, really close and, and, and I think like this. But now with uh, the new kind of phones uh, uh, the screen is is, is it's uh, bigger than the others, I, I think. Mm -hmm. For me, the best thing that has happened is that, that the word, that you begin typing a word and then you, you can only choose or the, the, common, the common words that you use pop up. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I like that because it makes it very quick to write a message. You don't have to go letter by letter. You just click on the different words. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you have a great evening. We're going to practice some more tomorrow. If you have any questions on the platform, oh, okay. we're going to we're gonna see you tomorrow. Hey, hey, Rocio, hey. memorize the keyboard. <laughs> oh, no, I, oh, no, I. <laughs> there you go. There you go. With the eyes closed. With the eyes closed. <laughs> so the teacher didn't, didn't, so the teacher didn't, the teacher didn't see. see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Okay. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.